Today is Tuesday, uh, June 26th. Um, today's reflection is coming more as a conclusion of a, of a long work day. And I um, wanted to share some feelings that I got uh, from Mass today at St. Mary Catholic Church with uh, Father Eric. And also um, kind of... Uh, the beginning of the reflection came from uh, early morning reading of the of the uh, of today's readings, but uh, the conclusion is um, the final observations. Uh, like I said, come from the conclusions drawn after a, a pretty uh, long day um, here at the office and and also um, with family. So today's um, gift uh, after I prayed um, for uh, the Holy Spirit to inspire me about what gift. Uh, I thought was uh, was uh, was the focus for today um, is piety. Um, uh, you might actually think it should be fear of the Lord after I read the readings, um, and especially after Father Eric's uh, homily today. But uh, it's actually piety. I just feel like uh, you know I was overcome by the fact that that. Uh, in the knowledge of of the fact that God is with us, and uh, I could really feel that uh, after Mass today. Um, so uh, the reading uh, comes from the Gospel reading for today, and uh, you know yesterday's Gospel reading ended with uh, a, remi- a reminder to uh, take the wooden beam out of your own eye before you start worrying about the splinter in your uh, in somebody else's eye and. Then today, um, today uh, the gospel reading starts out with uh, "Don't give what's holy to dogs, and uh, throw your pearls before swine." Um, so, I guess the the focus is, uh, uh, you know, between the the getting the wooden beam out of my eye and then uh, and then not not. Uh, Throwing the good stuff towards towards uh, um, bad things. Well, I can only look at that personally, and and the only way that I can be um, be who God's calling me to be is to recognize that uh, that uh, that I'm a sinner, and uh, and uh, if it's not for the grace of God, then uh, then then it's only by the grace of God that uh, that uh, I'm saved from my own sinfulness. So um, the gospel reading continues, uh, verse 12, and this is chapter 7 from Matthew's gospel. Um, verse 12 is, Do to others whatever you would have them do to you, and this is the law and the prophets. Um, verse 13 is, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many how narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life and those who find it are few. Um, Father Eric uh, mentioned that uh, this is uh, a representation of of Jesus that most people don't like to focus on, that uh, he's not being the the friendly, you know, come as you are uh, image that we normally think of when we think of Jesus. He's he's reminding us that uh, that not everyone is going to enter through, you know, the gates of heaven, and we have to be mindful of the fact that uh, that it's only when we follow, um, you know, or we're being led by the grace of God, that uh, that we can know that we're on that path. But uh, we also know that uh, that uh, not everyone is going to accept that path, and. Uh, I guess the focus for me is is to is to make sure that uh, that I'm doing everything in my power to to accept the will of God um, and to lean on His grace because uh, because my own understanding is is worthless <laughs> and His grace is again uh, what saves me so. Uh, I hadn't really thought about the fruit of the spirit to to focus on for today, um, but I guess the the story that ended mass today when Father Eric mentioned that uh, 
the movie um, about uh, Saint Jose Maria Escriva's life um, that was that was done uh, last couple of years. Uh, it's called uh, There Be Dragons that I watched last week and recommended for my sister. Um, he actually mentioned it today, and it was actually in my mind so much so that uh, as he was saying it, I was thinking that. Uh, the Holy Spirit must have inspired him to say it as I was sitting there listening. I actually had to take a moment and sit down at Mass, or after Mass, and, and just kind of reflect on the fact that that God is with us. You know, that uh, God was definitely there in that moment for me. And I, I have to re- remember to be thankful that uh, that God reveals himself in those moments um, and, uh, and I am thankful. So my prayer for today, uh, in the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, uh, I know that uh, I don't always do what it is I'm supposed to be, what it is I'm supposed to do, or what, uh, what might be expected of a, of a pious, person in the church and for that I I am truly sorry but I I am leaning on your grace and your mercy um, to lead me to to follow your will more completely in my life I ask this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Amen